Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today we're going big. This is a long way away. Which is my finger. Bonk. Yeah, this is, I believe, from memory. I could memory, measure it for you again, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, 700 millimeters diameter. Um, I've done them before. It's a canvas that I picked up from where the warehouse that was on sale. I've gesso, just put a single coat of gesso over it. You can still in some places see the gold lettering, but hey, that's okay. We're putting gold in this painting anyway. So let's head back to the table and get our cup ready. So yes, it's a gravy jug pour. Now those of you that haven't come across my gravy separated jug concept before, um, you pour your gravy juices, if you meat, into the jug. Let it sit for a little bit and the, the you know, fat rises just like with our silicon. Um, the fat rises and then you pour the juices off from the bottom. So this creates some really interesting pours. And I've done a few gravy jug pours with a white base. What I've never done is one with a black base. So let the pouring begin. Um, what I my target is is to create something sparkly, dynamic, yummy. So there's some gold. This is the blue uh, with iridescent medium. So ultramarine blue with iridescent medium that I put on my rocks. And yes, you guessed it, we're going a similar colour scheme to the rocks, but there'll be other stuff as well. So we've got to have that copper in there as well. And I'm going to pop some crimson red for a dynamic whoomp. And that green, emerald green that I made from... Viridian hue and iridescent median that's going in there as well. So we've got a big pot. Spreading the colours around a bit. Anybody else want to go in there? Should we put a dash of white? What do you reckon? Yes? No? No? But I do think what we'll do is we'll put... A dash of iridescent medium just as it is in there it's quite thick so they will probably clump together quite a lot that's okay uh, and now let's just fill that back up with black let's just break up some of that color All right, this is kind of looking a little bit like those two smush records that I did recently. So we're sitting at about 350 mils, around about 12 ounces of paint in there. So let's go back over to the canvas and see what else is possible. Okay, before I start with regards to the pouring I'm just going to go around the edges with what's left of my black and just make sure we've got coverage on the edges I really don't want to have to over tilt if it's not necessary and just by putting some um, making sure there's a coat of paint other than the gesso on those bits it's going to make it just more ease for me as the artist as well as a as a prettier result in the end so just 
just making sure the whole thing's got the acrylic paint on it. There's no matte finish from the gesso. And there's none of the original image that was on this piece before showing through on those edges. Okay. Still got a little bit more paint in here, so I may as well just slop it on. Sorry about the set, my head. <laughs> Having a wet surface also helps the paint to, to slide as you're tilting as well, so it's not a bad thing to have this on here to create more ease of gliding. people say to me recently how do you keep your clothes clean I don't can you tell look <laughs> these clothes are my painting clothes I have set clothes if I come into the studio not in my painting clothes I have a spare set of clothes here in the studio to put on if I need them um, you know sometimes you come down and oh I'll just in the I'll just is the thing that will make your uh, clothes dirty. So I'll just put my spare set of painting clothes on. Always a good way to start. All right, well, I didn't think I was going to paint the whole thing, but there we go. So here's our pot. But remember, it's not coming out of here. It's coming out of here. And we put in black to start with, so I normally will receive a whole heap of black to start with. And I'm just going to, so I'm going to do travelling ring pour. Oh no, here comes the gold already. Awesome. Oops, tilting too far, it's coming over the top. Getting too excited and impatient. Wanting my paint to run out. So we've got some hints of the metallics in. In here, so we're getting some swirls. bush the monkey chased the weasel monkey thought it was all in fun pop goes the weasel oh we're getting denser colors coming through now it's still very gold and copper I did put a lot of gold in there I'm going to start from the inside and work out now because we're getting down to 
Almost nothing. Hmm, I wonder where all my colours went. <laughs> oh, this could be interesting. What do you guys reckon? Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do is just scrape the rest of that paint down so that we can actually get it to come out. So it may be like some of my previous black-based ones, <laughs> with no colour. Whoops! Hmm. What do I do now? So as it's spreading, I'm starting to see glints of some of the other colours. Just going to dab in some of these holes. So that the paint knows where to go. And right now I'm feeling really pleased that I painted the rest of the canvas. Alright, I'll try and do it so that you guys can see. Oh dear. Just make sure it goes all the way up. I'm definitely trying not to lose any because we've definitely not got enough paint as it is
liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Check the edges. That is. I'm really pleased now that I let that bit flow over the top because it's pretty much the only colour that's shown up so far. The rest of it seems to have embedded itself in the black. Checking the edges, make sure it's all looking good. Yes. Awesome. Now, if you guys watched my video where I did the string pulls with the metallics on the black, you'll remember that um, the metallics definitely show up a lot more once they have dried and this kind of is reminding me a lot of a a marble kind of look i'm liking it liking it a lot now we need to torch it we're going to use the big one the little one would take a long time to do i think so we'll just Big long flame, you've got to be really aware of where it's pointing. Make sure it doesn't touch the paint and burn it. It's definitely popping air bubbles, I can see that happening. Not seeing much silicon though. Oh yeah, here we go, we've got a few bits. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm really really liking this I'm gonna get you down and show you from a different angle with a different light reflection going on <laughs> probably some close-ups and then we can wait and see how it dries okay I've turned the overhead light off so we can get a better view of this I love this area here Oh my goodness, I am so hoping this paint stays like this or the black sinks more because this is just stunning. Yummy, yummy. I might have to go over it again with the heat gun. To just to, I'm seeing more bubbles being created. But look at that. That is super cool. It actually looks like I can see a person. Ha! Huh? I can always see people. It looks like there's a head. Somebody sort of being blown backwards as this one comes in as whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! How cool is that? 
And look at this bit of colour. Just jumping out. So I did put red in there. I did put <laughs> the green in there and the blue in there. I'm intrigued to see what shows up once this is dry. And I'm also wondering, how am I going to cover this so that it doesn't get dust and bugs and bits? I'm going to have to hunt out some big cardboard boxes. So there you go, guys. That was fun. Probably need more paint next time. But that was all the black I had. Need to go shopping. But that's cool. I'd have that as a dinner table. Pretty it's canvas. <laughs> but it would look awesome on a wall somewhere. Alright, so I will see you once this is dry. In three, two, one. Alright, it's dry. And look at that. I know it looks like it's been raining, but it hasn't. That's the silicon. <laughs> um, and yeah, it has definitely got a bit brighter than when it was... Ah, this is not easy. Look at the copper. Oh, I love copper. Let's bring it down a little bit. It's funky. It'll be fun on someone's wall. Let's see if I can get it far enough back. Look at that. It's quite cool. Swirly, whirly. It really, actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the black sands at Raglan Beach. And, um, you know, you know on a beach when the waves come in and they leave behind those sort of like dredge marks in the sand? This looks kind of reminiscent of the black sand on of the east coast. East? West? West coast of New Zealand. Um, Love this bit. Oh, airplane. I really like that piece. But I like the whole thing. Look at the, the iridescent green. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I like it different but I like it so there we go that was fun it wasn't a string pull or a chain pull but you know a girl's got to have a bit of variation in her life I'll be back to that tomorrow so come join us on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group and I will see you in the next video bye bye